Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video. And so I hope you're doing really great this morning. And so we'll be talking about the latest in terms of what is going on for Tammy. But that Caribbean disturbance should definitely be watched because it seems as though it's going to try to get itself together and the formation chance has increased. Let's get straight into it and we're kickstarting things looking at Hurricane Tammy. So uh, here we are taking a closer look at the system and it is producing a lot of heavy rainfall across some spots in the Caribbean. So many areas across the Lesser Antilles have felt impacts one way or another from the system and it actually made landfall in Barbuda last night. So uh, I saw the videos of all that was happening in Barbuda, it was absolutely insane. And so I hope that everyone is doing okay this morning as the system is now making its way out and should fully clear the Caribbean as we head into early this week. And so going on to the latest cone forecast, we can still see that some areas are under hurricane warning. Barbuda, St. Martin, St. Barthelemy, and Anguilla. So it is passing by and eventually this hurricane warning will be discontinued. But as of now, it is continuing to sustain those winds of 85 miles per hour and the movement to the north-northwest at 10 miles per hour. And so there is some uncertainty with where the system tracks afterwards. Models are kind of all over the place with it, but uh, it is expected to weaken because that wind shear is likely to increase out there. But uh, if you're in Bermuda, you definitely want to keep watch for this system and so uh, that is the latest on Tammy and let's drift to the Caribbean so here we are taking a look at the uh, seven day outlook and we can see here that this area is now given a 30% chance of formation we could definitely see uh, something try to become of this system before it makes its way in so that formation chance has increased slightly not a big change here and this area is also designated as an invest it is invest 95 L and that simply means it is has been closely watched for development so uh, let's see if over the next day or so it will get itself together i mean conditions are conducive out ahead of it let's take a look at them we can see that on the sea surface temperature map the waters are very warm 30 degrees celsius in that area and i'll uh, go in onto the wind shear map here where we see those red lines indicate unfavorable shear and there we can see the white outline of the different areas here's the caribbean so the area is in a region that is not too bad in terms of the wind shear and also looking at the dry air map, we can see that uh, those that dry air is marked by those different shades of yellows, oranges, reds. So that isn't a huge problem for the system. So uh, we could definitely see it try to materialize into something. And should it actually manage to briefly become a tropical cyclone, it will acquire the name Vince. So Vince is the next name to be used for this season. And uh, the second to final name of that, because Whitney is the final name. And then the list for the season concludes. I really think that will go on to that supplementary list uh, because I think that we may actually see around three more named storms before the official end of the hurricane season. So we'll definitely have to watch out for this system right here, but also regardless of it developing, it will be producing a lot of heavy rainfall across portions of Central America, Nicaragua, Costa Rica. So uh, if you're in any of those areas, please be safe because this is likely uh, to produce some flooding rains as we head through early this week. And so that is what I wanted to share with you guys in this update. I know this is not the typical length guys but i'll be going into a lot of details later this evening in that update so stay tuned for that and that is pretty much what i wanted to share with you for now so i hope you found this video to be quite informative but if you have any questions please do leave them in the comments i'll respond to you once i get the chance to do so and remember to always be weatherwise